so welcome back in this session i am going to discuss your experiment number 3 now before this particular session we were discussing about the linux environment different types of commands and after understanding the commands and the execution we have discussed how to write a shell script and the syntax about the shell script like how to apply a loop or conditional statement etc and number of things we have discussed now third experiment onward you will be using in this lab c programming only right so before starting uh, this third experiment let's talk about a bit on c programming so i'll ask few fundamental questions about c and try to clarify that so let's answer these three questions if i ask you or anyone ask you let's say can you write a c program without including any header file you possibly may say yes or no it depends upon your experience in the programming so we can write c programs without including header files actually we require header files when we try to incorporate or call some of the functions those are not well defined in ansic so let's say if you are going to use int float or an, any number of keyword like 32 keywords and the basic syntax or structure of c programming till then we need not to include any of the header files right but if you are including something which is not well defined or which is not intrinsic property of c you can say then you have to include the header file or the definition of that function right so the very first questions answer is yes we can write the next question is how can we write our own header files can we write our own header files also so i guess you must be aware about yes we can write our header files also header files are not very different things they are also let's say if i talk about c header file they are also written in c right and then the third question how many ways are there to include a header file in a c program so is there any other way like we generally use hash include and we put the angular bracket and then we include the header file so is there any other way to include yes there are multiple ways to include the header files or you can say two ways and if i also ask you the fourth question which i have not written here can you locate the header files in your system like you generally include has include stdio.h so if someone ask what is the location of stdio.h how will you find out and what is the location of stdio.h so if you use the locate command or any command in shell or your linux environment it will give you the path there is a directory called include and that directory is available in usr directory and usr is available inside so let me write it inside root so there is root directory inside root there is usr and inside usr there is include directory okay so your header files are available here so when you write has include and you put this angular bracket whatever the header files are available in this directory include you can write the name like stdio.h or there are n number of header files available okay but in case a header file is not available here at this particular location let's say a header file is available in your present working directory so pwd i am saying if you have created your own header file and it is available in your present working directory then how you can include the header file so if you include that header file by putting these angular bracket there will be an error so any such file let's say you have created my header file dot h then you can include by using has include 
and after has include you need to put double quote and you write my header dot h double quote close so if you are going to use these double quotes that means the file which you are going to include in a c program it's, it is available in the present working directory so if the file is available in present working directory after has include you put double quote if the file is not available in the present working directory you put angular bracket okay so let's see all this in demonstration quickly okay so let's check here i have written few code so let's say if i write a code without including any header file let's check whether it is working or not so if i use vi editor you can use an, any editor nano or vi or any other editor and let's say if i write sample dot c okay now i write let's say int main and inside this main I write a return statement so let's say I want to return something let's say return 0 okay now if I execute this compile this because I'm using all the fundamental things of C which is well defined in ANSIC I need not to include any other file so if I use GCC and sample.c then it will be compiled without any error and because gcc by default create a dot out file so i can run dot slash a dot out and it will be executed because i have not written anything this program is not going to print anything on this screen but i can check the return value you know that when we execute a program or command the return value will be stored in dollar question mark i have explained in the experiment number two so you can check the return value is zero right because i have write return zero if i update the return value here if i update let's say i update the return value zero to one or let's say ten then this program will start returning that value which i am returning here so i need to again compile this program using gcc space the program file name and then gcc create a dot out file so I can type dot slash a dot out and if I check the return value of the previous it will return me 10. So this program is working fine and it is returning properly. I hope you understood. So we can very well write the programs without including any header file. So that is the demonstration of the very first. Now what is a header file? Header file is a C program only. Can we write our own header file? So let me demonstrate i have written one thing let's say i want to write my function like factorial or any useful function i code it and i want that that function let's say i feel i'm going to use in n number of other programs so i can define that function in a header file right so when i am going to define a header file i need to be very particular about my header file is a normal c program which does not contain any main function if your header file will contain main function and if you include that header file and your original program is also having main there will be two main so there will be an error right so let me show you i have created one header file like fact.h so if you open fact.h i have written to calculate factorial so let's say there is a function int fact and i am passing an argument and that argument i'll be taking from if this num is less than 0 then I am returning minus 1 otherwise I am returning the value of factorial I hope this is easy to understand but remember this in this I have I, I am not including any header file no header file I, have, I am including and I have not defined any main in this if I define main in this I cannot call this file in another function which is having main right so that is the important thing you need to remember now I am going back by typing call and wq and let's say I am having a program, let's say program.c I have written. So you check program.c. In program.c I have included this fact.h. But remember this fact.h is my file which is available in my present working directory. Okay. So if I include has include and these angular bracket, there may be problem. Okay. Because it is not included in the 
include directory inside usr right so let me execute this i am executing program.c which is calling my defined header file so i write gcc and program.c it is saying hey fatal error and there is a problem this file is not available because it is checking inside the this particular directory which is available in root usr slash include okay so this include directory contains all the header files you can check math.h malloc.h locate.h dirend.h stdio dot h everything you will find out here only so all the header files are available here but my fact dot h is not available that's why there is an error so i can do one thing i can call the header file by putting double quote so let me put the double quote here rather than putting the angular bracket i'm putting double quote because my header file is available in my present working directory and I can compile this program. So if I program this, compile this using GCC space program name, it is compiled without any error. Now I can run it. So I'm writing a dot out and I'm successfully executing it. If I check the return value, dollar question mark, it is returning me 24. Why it is returning 24? Let's check the program code. It depends upon what value we are passing there. So we are passing actually a fixed value that is 4. I have passed 4 value. So it is returning me the factorial of 4 that is 4 cross 3 cross 2 that is 24. Right. So that means that is my own header file which I have included. I haven't included any of the well defined or previously defined header file. Now if I want to call my defined header file by angular bracket, how I can use that? So let, let me put the angular bracket here, but I need to copy my fact.h inside the usr slash include directory. Okay. So let me put here angular bracket like this. And let me save it. Now what I'm doing is I'm copying my fact.h file inside root usr slash include okay now if i try to copy this it is saying it is a regular file permission denied so for taking the permission you can use sudo command because either you need to be a root user or you can use sudo command so i am using sudo command and i am typing the password of my present name and the file has been copied now once this file has been copied in usr include if i compile the program dot c now it will not return me any error now it is accepting angular bracket to include a header file now you can compile like a dot out and you can check the return value so it will give you the return value that is the factorial of 4 so dollar question mark will give you 24 right so I hope I have answered all three questions in this. So please try to understand these things. See you in the next session in which we will start programming or doing the exercise of your lab experiment 3. Thank you everyone.